I am Terry Michelle. So nice to meet you today. I'm so glad you're here to, to listen to what God has given me to say today. I, I am so happy about Jesus uh, in so many ways. I love the way he went against the norm of his time. He went against the norm. Mary Magdalene, uh, yes, M-A-G-D-A-L-E-N-E, -E. he rewarded Mary when she came to the tomb. And she was crying. He, she didn't recognize him. She thought he was the gardener. And then she turns around, then she recognized his voice. And she tried to hug him. He, she said, oh, I have not descended, ascended to my father. Do not cling to me. Do not touch me. And um, it's just amazing. Yeah, do not cling to me because I have not yet ascended to my father and your father to my God and your God. So Mary of Magdala went and told the disciples that she has seen the Lord and that he has said these things to her. He could have very easily have waited for the man to come. Instead, he went against the norm. He wanted the world to see that he supported women. And he was, very, he was very comfortable. Jesus was very comfortable in his skin to accept a woman and to commission the woman to go and tell the disciples he has risen and he'll meet them in Galilee. That's amazing to me. I'm still humbled by that. I'm still humbled by that. And I love the alabaster box. That's amazing to me. The alabaster box. Um, it was um, it was very special in those days. It was uh, made of stone and um, marble. It was very special. There you go. Alabaster was a stone commonly found in Israel. It was a hard stone resembling white marble and is referred to as one of the precious stones used in the decoration of Solomon's temple. Later on, you can go ahead and read 1 Chronicles 29 and 2. And also you can read John 12 and 3. And what amazes me, the lady re re remained nameless. Uh, we believe that she's Mary. They say the scholars think that she's Mary. Uh, but there were so many different Marys at, at that time. But this particular Mary, uh, this particular woman remained nameless. But she came with the alabaster box. And she cried on Jesus' feet and the tears, she wiped the tears away with her hair. She dried her tears from his feet with her hair. I find that amazing. I'm just amazed at that. I'm amazed. I thank God that Jesus went against the norm and he, he was comfortable in his skin. And I thank God he taught a lesson to men at that time and men today, today's time, that it's okay. You're comfortable. Uh, doesn't take away from your strength as a man. You can still be comfortable and strong in your strength and, and still support women in ministry, entertainment, business, politics, you name it. The fact that you're able to support women is a very good thing. Very good thing. That says you're very comfortable in your skin. That says you're very comfortable in your skin. Jesus went against the norm. He went against the norm and the culture of that time. And I thank God. That's a lesson for us. We, we, learn, we can learn a lot of lessons in the Bible, but I believe that's a very good lesson of male chauvinism, that he doesn't approve of male chauvinism in any kind of form. And I just appreciate Jesus for doing that. I love him for supporting women. Thank God. And that, that's so humbling the way she wiped, she dried his te the tears that she dropped on his feet with her hair. I mean, that's just amazing to me. That's a very humbling thing. And I just appreciate Mary doing that. And um, 
Yes, and um, my books are on Amazon. Be sure to order them. One is called, I Was Also the Woman with the Issue of Blood by Terry Michelle. It's on Amazon. Just look it up. Very uh, economical. And it, it talks about my account with um, heaven. I went to heaven. And it gets into detail on how I went to heaven and I came back to earth. God is good. God is great. The fact that I'm on here speaking to you right now is a miracle. My second book is called The Effectiveness of a Leader by Terry Michelle. Yes, you, you can get it off of Amazon. Now, in August, I'm going to have uh, the manufacturer, they're going to be, have the audio CDs ready for you. If, you want, if you're the type of person you want to just listen in your car or your truck or in your home or in your office, you'll be able to just pop that CD in and uh, listen to it. And I'm on Kindle now. You can go to Kindle. You can, you can get a Kindle version of my books as well. Just go to Amazon and uh, you, you'll see it. Okay. All right. And um, some other products going to be coming out this summer. And I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely will uh, inform you of those products. Thank you for your time tonight. This is April 9th, 2018, Monday night. Thank God for his mercy. If you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, say with me, uh, say to the Lord Jesus Christ, I confess I am a sinner. I confess I am a sinner. Say that with me. Say it after me. I ask you to come into my life. Please forgive me for all of my sins. I repent for all of my sins. Cleanse me from un all unrighteousness. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and he died for my sins. And I believe God have raised Jesus from the dead. I make you Lord and Savior of my life. I am your child in the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Men, women, boys, and girls, if you said this, you are now saved and a new creature ready to meet Jesus when the archangel blows the trumpet and Jesus come back for us in the sky. Now you are also the seed of Abraham and the son and daughter of Jesus Christ. You have the covenant seed promise that was blessed upon Abraham by God. Now you are the righteousness of God. Now, not only are you blessed, you are a blessing to others. Please don't forget to follow Jesus Christ, not man. Don't worship man, but worship Jesus Christ. Please be ready when Jesus come back for us. Thank you for your time tonight. Bless you. May God add a blessing to all his listeners today. Tonight, in Jesus' name I pray, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts. We forgive our dead tours. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. And all God people, all God's people say, Amen. Amen and Amen. I'm signing off. Be sure to look for Terry Michelle. I'm going to be coming on here periodically and to teach you what God says about his word and also to, to inspire you as well. Signing off. Terry Michelle. T-E-R-R-I-M-I-C-H-E-L-E. -R -R -E -E, Terry Michelle is signing off. If you want to call me, Leave your name and phone number, area code 412-247-3259. I'm not there right now, but I will check my messages at least once a week, and I will call you back. And if um, you need me to pray with you and to keep you encouraged in this walk with God, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be able to do that for you. 
Take care. 412-247-3259. God bless. Bye-bye. Signing off. Terry Michelle, signing off.